In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create these really cool animated border gradients in Tailwind CSS. I'll walk you through how all of it works, and it's really not too complicated. So let's go ahead and kick things off by just opening up a new Tailwind play. And we're going to remove this content, and I'm just going to add this container that's going to be H screen, W screen. And we basically want to create this container so that way it centers everything. Justify center and we'll give it a black background. Okay, next we are going to add the container, so essentially the box that is going to have the animated border gradient. So let's give this a class of, we'll say W full, and we wanna give it a max width of, we'll say SM. Let's give it rounded LG, and you know what, let's give this a pink background so we can see that this exists. So on the screen, it doesn't look like that we have anything yet, that's because uh, it's not taking up any space. So let's create a div inside of our box and add some content. We'll just say, hello world. And there we go, simple enough. Let's add some padding to the text. And this is gonna be the box that we're gonna use to have the animated border gradient. So then we also need to have this rounded dash LG. And I'm also gonna give this a background. And you'll see if I give this a background of neutral 900, it almost looks like that, that pink background disappears, which is great. We really want the, the parent container to act as a border. So what we can do is we can add a small padding to the parent container. So if we have padding of one pixel, it's going to give this kind of like border. And this is the border that is going to be animated in a circle. So what we want to do is we want to add this uh, conic gradient. So a conic gradient essentially goes from uh, zero degrees all the way around to 360. And this is a new feature in Tailwind V4. So we'll want to jump over to the V4 version. So let me go ahead and create this conic gradient. So to do that, we say BG conic. And we're going to say that we want this to go from, we'll start off at just zero degrees. And we're going to say that we want this to go, we'll say from, Let's go ahead and say black, and then we want that to go to pink of 500, and then we'll say to black. So if I were to remove this background, you'll actually see what the conic gradient looks like. So this is what the conic gradient looks like, and we're going to be animating this conic gradient from 0 to 360 in an infinite loop, and that's what is going to look like the animated border gradient. So let's go ahead and add this background back. And what we need to do is we need to add a, a custom CSS property. So we are going to call this property border angle. And a custom CSS property, you essentially tell it what kind of syntax it is going to be. And this could be like a percentage, it could be a length. But in our case, this is actually going to be an angle. Then we also need to say, do we want this to inherit from any of the parent properties? And we'll set this to false. And we also need to specify what the initial value is going to be. So we'll say initial value is going to be zero degrees. Okay, so we have this new property and we're going to use this border angle inside of our HTML. So instead of the BG conic from zero degrees, we're going to say from variable and we're going to reference the border angle variable. So this is going to essentially still look the same. So now we need to add the animation classes. And this stuff is pretty simple as well. So inside of Tailwind, Tailwind V4, we have this new theme helper. And inside here, we're going to add our keyframes. So we're going to add this animation that we will call border rotate. And border rotate is going to go from zero degrees. And then we're going to say we want that to go to, and that is going to be border angle of 360 degrees. Now, one more thing that we need to do is we need to create uh, the variable that we're going to use that's going to create this animation. So I'm going to call this variable animate rotating border. And we're going to say that we want this to use the border rotate animation. And we want this to be, have a duration of three seconds. Uh, we'll say that we want the animation type to be linear. And we want this to infinitely loop. Infinite. So now check this out. If we were to add this animate rotate border, to our parent div right here, say animate rotate border and it doesn't do anything. Hot dog, <laughs> what did I forget? 
Okay, it looks like we actually need to include the variable name here. We just said border angle. So we need to say dash dash border angle. And now check it out. You can see that our border is animating and it's kind of going in a loop right here. So let's go ahead and change this pink to, I think green looks a little bit nicer. So we'll say green of 400. And let's add the text of white and make this text center. And we'll also use text extra small. Okay, so you can see that it is animating right now. But what we want to do is we probably don't want the, uh, the green line to be so long. So what it's doing is it's actually going from 0% via 50% and then to 100%. So we want to change those values. This might actually help to visualize if I were to take off this background right here. You can see how this is rotating and that's creating that animation. So what we want to do is we want to say, we'll go from, we'll say 80% via and we want that to be 90 percent and then finally to 100 percent i think that should be default so now you can see that we have this smaller uh kind of gradient line and that's going to give us a better effect so now if we add this background back here bg uh was that neutral if i could spell neutral 900 so now we get this cool animated border gradient effect so that's just how simple it is. You know, you can take this uh, CSS, it's very minimal CSS, and then you just add the conic gradient, and then we also add our animate class. So if we wanted to take this a step further, we could also possibly make this on hover. So let's go ahead and say that we want to only apply this on hover. So we'll say hover BG conic, and then maybe we also want hover we want to scale by, we'll say, an extra 3%. And let's also give this a cursor pointer. And now check this out. If we hover over it, well, now we get that animation effect. And it's kind of cool because you can see as it animates, it's over on the left corner and then on the right. As we move away, it's kind of still happening in the background because now as we jump back over to it, it takes off where it would have left off before. Uh, one more thing that I do you think makes it look nice if we add a border to this box right here? So we'll say border neutral of 900. Uh, not 900, we want 800. Okay, so now we have that extra border right here. And you can see it has that really nice effect. Um, taking this a step further, what if we wanted to uh, use the Tailwind CSS perspective? Let me see, we could say perspective normal. Or we can say dramatic. Let's do perspective normal. Actually, we want perspective normal to be on the main div. And then this one we want to say transform dash 3D. And then we will say rotate X dash 40. And you can see <laughs> now it kind of has like this, uh, it's kind of rotated in. We could change this to rotate Y. And it has that effect right there. Uh, we could even have like a hover effect. So as you hover over it, then it does that, uh, that rotate. Although it doesn't seem to animate. So maybe we need to add the, the transition all. And perhaps now as we hover over it, yeah, it kind of has like that sleek effect. We could also add duration dash 500. And we want this to ease out. So now as we hover over it, it kind of has that cool effect that it kind of folds in and then we have our animated border gradient let's change this to rotate x and let's also try hover rotate z let's give it rotate z3 let's see how this looks see so that's kind of cool we can have these perspective looking elements and that was kind of just a bonus uh the idea of, of this video was just to show you how to create those animated border gradients um but yeah i will go ahead and share this uh, Tailwind Play, and you can feel free to use it in your projects. I hope you'll uh, take advantage of how easy it is to create these animated border gradients. And let me know if you like this video, and I will definitely create some more. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.